My name is April Moore. Laree. Bruce Watkins. Clay Underwood. Ace Whitaker. Carrie Dow Allen. Robert Trujillo. Michael Kelly. Rachel. Dan Gray. Susie Virgilio. David Tolman. Ed Hansen. Terry Cohen. Andy Gable. I'm April Heron. Bob Allen. Oliver. Stephen Blaha. Jay Sowell. Joel Agra. Liz Sondhaus. Neil Baden. Keith Young. Amanda Burr. Tyler. Paul Thompson. Cindy. Lynn Davis. Alexander. Derek. Dick Zinner. Doug Johnson. Hi, Dan. Hi. Dan. Tristan. Dick Hoffman. Debbie Guerra. Scott Hi. Allen. Christy Strain. Estevan. Joan Foster. You and this is Enrique. How has the word gay affected my life? I would say that's a word that has definitely evolved throughout my life. The word gay is has always been a positive. That label would apply to a lot of my best friends. It never really became anything negative until it was affiliated with the church. Uh, it was a bad word. And that's a really sad commentary. It just sort of is what it is. I think most of the time that it's just being used from a political standpoint. I had to grapple for many years to accept that word applied to me. I'm embarrassed, ashamed. When I went to college, it was still very secretive. I went to a professor uh, in seminary and said, I think I have homosexual feelings. And he said, Oh, put that out of your mind. Oh, I was ashamed until I met Dan. Dated girls, had girlfriends throughout high school and in college. I went along and did what I thought I was supposed to do, and I, I did date a few boys and, you know, just kind of played the way, the part that everyone I felt wanted me to play. Dating women and undergoing counseling, it was all kind of, I was just trying to figure it all out. I thought, like, I guess most people with no experience, I thought I could tell who was gay and who wasn't. I always knew I was gay. Fortunately, I never actually made any real gaffes. Uh, when people tell me that being gay or straight or whatever uh, is a choice, that is really laughable. But I did make some mistaken assumptions. It wasn't something that I asked for. It's so what that taught me is that not only should you not make assumptions about whether people are gay or not, you shouldn't make assumptions about people at all. I grew up in the church, but I don't think the church loved me. Originally, I knew in my heart that I had an attraction towards males, and it was okay. Well, it used to be a bad word for me. And I received the message that it was not okay. Because I didn't come from a church or religious background, I never had shame associated with it. I think that a lot of a lot of people who are struggling with their sexuality sometimes struggle with. My brother was gay, my only brother. I loved getting back home to New Orleans with my parents because we didn't have to go to church. That he wouldn't keep his membership in the Methodist Church because of our stance in the discipline. He's one who isn't comfortable staying because he feels excluded. I don't know, my mother passed away without me ever really saying Oh, I'm gay. Being gay is a gift that God can use uh, to reach out, to show God's love to people who've felt rejected, who felt judged, who have felt condemned, who've been on the margins of the society and excluded from churches and excluded from that awareness that God does love them. What our churches can do in people's lives if and, and in this case, it was, it was through simple, inclusive language in the course of Sunday morning services. Welcome. Welcome to you if you're first. Welcome to you if you're returning. This is a welcome church and all are welcome. All are welcome. I feel strength and comfort in this church. That acceptance of anyone can walk in the door. And that's what God wants us to do, is to get to know each other as individuals and to have our personal relationships with God and our corporate relationships as the church based on our own unique specialness, based on the way that God made us to be. I feel that it's, it's really life-changing to finally feel this accepted. It, may, it makes me almost really emotional when I think about it. I found love in the last place I ever thought I'd find it which is the church. Just to feel like I, I feel like I belong somewhere and I'm accepted and, and that this is really... All means all.